What's up you guys, Jaden here with the Moonlight Craftsman channel. Right here I have a finished coffee table that uh, you've probably seen some of the process in some of my earlier videos, but I know my grandma has been waiting to see this on here. So I just wanted to do a quick overview and um, go over some of the design elements, um, highlight some of those. Coming up. So I really started with just the slab and kind of built the design uh, to work with the piece of wood that I had. I actually got this slab probably October 2019 um, from just some guy on the street in Eureka, Eureka Springs, Arkansas. Uh, while I was there that time I did see a, a wood mill uh, around the area there too. and. I actually hit that place up this weekend and got some walnut that I'll show you at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. But, so it's not a very big slab, and if you're wondering, I got, got it for $65. It was, you know, a lot thicker, uh, but it did have a wave in it, which, you know, I ended up with only about five-eighths thick here. So something to look out for. Um, there is the slab flattening video where you can kind of see the process for that because this is, I think it's about 19 inches this way at the widest point. So too big for the planer. But, um, so it's kind of a small slab. So um, even width wise, so these being narrow, kind of had to keep the legs a little short uh, but this is about as short as you want to go looking at some design books for a coffee table but I think it's for the space that I have here it's a actually works out to be a pretty good uh, size not too big a small I have a small space here so the ends are just kind of capped with these stainless steel tubes you can see and the wood movement uh, you know and humid humidity and everything since the, the grains going this way the woods not going to move a whole lot in this direction the movements going to be in in this direction so only a slight maybe 30 second gap on the ends here and of course we got the bow ties for the cracks and the epoxy in there there's some short videos on that, but did the stainless steel legs and I'll try and bring this up here, but you know, some of the polishing, there's a video on that. On the underside, let's see if we can get that. I don't know if the lighting is going to be very good, but I did add a little bit more wood. Under, underneath where I put these screws. And what I used was these threaded inserts, which they're threaded on the outside and threaded on the inside. So you drill a hole with the drill bit that they give you uh, to a certain depth. And then you use the driver that they give you to put these inserts into the wood. And then you can use these quarter 28 uh, screws here and what I did was uh, since you know the wood movements going this way the center one can be a regular hole but the side one the side ones need to be slotted to allow for uh, expansion and contraction so that's kind of what the bottom looks like and then if you remember on an earlier video, you got these adjustable brass uh, feet. Just a little tiny detail. And when I, <clears throat> when I first got the slab ready, I just put a straight edge kind of along here and got these two points and you know because it does have a radius right here 
and then I squared off from those. So these are kind of square with the table, but then, you know, this leg goes out to that point, which is a little bit longer than this point. But the width of the legs apart from each other is the same width. The top, I just put a shellac on there, which probably is not the best option for, well, I know it's not the best option for um, a tabletop. It's not quite as durable. Um, the good thing about shellac is you can just put on a, another coat and it melts into the previous coats. So I just wanted to try the shellac out. And I did make one big mistake, but um, sometimes I don't know my own strength and I drilled a little bit too deep when I was doing those threaded inserts. And so I ended up going all the way through on this one side. So I just did that on these three here on each side. And then I put these plugs in here, which I think it turns out looking pretty good adds, adds another little detail you know make a mistake just figure out a way to uh, make it work you know and so yeah i think that with the modern look it kind of works out good i definitely like the look of the grain uh, i got some i think this is called feathering here um, but you know, you got the sap wood on the outside, which I, I like on this particular one, but anyways, well, I'll, uh, go show you that, uh, walnut haul I got this weekend. So this is what I was able to pick up this weekend. Um, uh, got five boards here uh two of them are nine foot long two of them are 10 foot long it's eight quarter inch uh around two inches a little slightly over two inches thick and they're about 12 inches wide so i got all these for 150 bucks so i'm pretty happy with that there are some um some splits and some imperfections on to one side of a couple of the boards so he gave me a really good deal on those but i'll be able to make some uh, table legs like in table legs with these out of the eight quarter i've been wanting some eight quarter and uh, when i get a bandsaw sometime i'll be able to split these down the middle and book match you know pieces for either a tabletop small tabletop or drawers um, so that'll be nice to have i just kind of wanted some thicker material for stock and this is all walnut i don't know if i said that yet but uh yeah and then i did get home and i did find a little uh small uh, carpenter ant nest in one of the bark uh inclusions so that's something to watch out for i guess when you're buying rough lumber um you know you want to kind of check for insects i guess but uh i did do a little bit of reading on the carpenter ants i cleaned them out and kind of sprayed where the nest was but uh they kind of attack moist or decaying locations so i was able to get all those out and i didn't see a queen or anything like that so i think we should be good um just something to look out for and um We'll see you on the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.